Today is all about us sharing with you our evolving clinical strategy. Many of you have been involved in its development to date and today we'll give you an opportunity to understand where we've got to and more critically to get feedback from you. The background of today's event is for us to engage with our staff to provide an opportunity for them to come and talk to us to understand what the challenges are that we face as an organisation to help us understand the challenges that they face and for us to collectively assume responsibility to address those challenges to try and improve the care that we deliver to patients. Because what will help from today is if we get kind of suggestions and things. So how do you think we're best um, to go about changing some of those a clinical differences in the way things are set up but the cultural bit the, the bit about how people work is there anything that the event was an opportunity for members of staff to join members of the executive and senior clinical leadership team to discuss the trust's evolving clinical and quality strategy and to share the work being done across the trust to drive it forward I think it's very important that everyone from all different specialities, both in the community and the acute sector, all come together so we can actually communicate and discuss issues and problems that are affecting patients everywhere, so it's, it's everyone's business. It's good to know what other people's view of the strategy is, it's good to see different levels of staff's engagement and just opportunities, it's good to know what services are out there. The day consisted of a number of presentations and short films outlining the Trust's new and changing approach to care. One of the main themes of discussion was the need for hospitals, community services and health and wellbeing services working together to create a vision for a truly integrated provider of health care. Even letting my colleagues know what, what I'm doing is an opportunity to sit down and actually discuss in a relaxed environment what actually happens in my clinic and um, how it helps the trust achieve its targets and how we can reduce um, patient admissions and how we can make a patient journey um, better and how we can make staff um, feel more part of um, the organisation and um, have a rewardable work experience as well. It's been very interesting on our table because you've got a mix of people from different specialities from the acute sector and in the community and it seems as if we've got seams running through which they're having problems with and we're having problems with um, and so it's nice to look at that and how we can maybe join that together and eradicate that and get the communication field opening. I've enjoyed the, the video presentations, it's helpful for me to put faces to names that uh, I've heard about so and the group discussions have been very good too. For me it's been a very good networking event. For David Bruce this was an opportunity to meet new colleagues as he had just joined the Trust. There was also the chance to meet colleagues old and new informally and discuss shared ideas and processes. And most importantly, it was another vital event to help maintain the trust energy for change. Out of today we need to get smart action plans around a lot of the ideas that the staff bring forward. We need to identify what the priorities are and out of today we need to go back and further consult with the staff in more detail to really understand what is behind some of the suggestions and as I say identify the priorities and then begin to deliver them.